Hello friends, this video on nutrition in plants part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we are going to talk about the saprotrophs or the saprotrophic nutrition. What does the word sapro means? So sapro means something which is dead or decayed. So anything dead and decayed. So these organisms obtain their food from dead, dead and decaying organisms. So the dead bodies are being eaten by these saprotrophs. Now those plants which have saprotrophic mode of nutrition, they are called saprotrophs. So they feed on dead plants or dead animals. So the best example of saprotrophs are the fungi. So when you think of fungi, can you remember any example of fungi? So the best example that you can relate to are the mushrooms. I think you would have eaten mushroom also in a lot of dishes. So mushrooms are nothing but fungi. So these mushrooms, they feed on dead and decaying matter. So let's see, where do we commonly see fungi? Because when we talk about plants, you can relate to the plants because they are like big trees and uh, flowers, fruits, etc. So you can relate to them. But when we think of fungi, many of you might think that I have never seen a fungi. So let me tell you where would you have seen it. So have you ever seen a rotten tomato? So if you keep a tomato, not inside the refrigerator, outside for a couple of days, maybe for some 10-15 days. So what happens? Gradually, the tomato, initially it will be like slightly greenish in color then it will ripen and it will become red in color then gradually it will start becoming soft then it will become very soft and then it will start to decay it will start rottening now what do we mean by decaying or rottening now what actually happens is if you actually use a microscope and look at it very closely you will see that there are some organisms which have developed on the rotten tomato and those organisms are nothing but fungi so not only that, if you would have ever seen a rotten bread, so there also you can see a layer of a kind of, um, you can say a cotton like appearance on the surface of the bread. So that is also nothing but they are also fungi. So you look at any rotten thing, you will be able to see fungi. For example, when you see molds on, a, in this picture you can see molds on a rotten orange. So you see the greenish layer which is actually getting formed that is due to the growth of molds. So molds, yeast, these are all examples of fungi. Now some of the common characteristics of fungi. So here in this picture you can actually see the fungi on bread. So now I hope that all of you would not say that you have never seen a fungi. I am sure you would have seen uh, fungi in one of these cases. So these fungi, they are multicellular organisms that is made, they are made up of many cells inside their body. Now most of the fungi are multicellular, the only exception is yeast. Now we will not get into the detail of each and every fungi. So I just want to give you some idea about what are fungi. They are heterotrophic, they depend on others for their food. Obviously, even though, you know, heterotrophic, that means they cannot pre prepare their own food. And now, how do they depend on others for their food? They depend on dead organisms. So that is why they are called saprotrophs. They prefer warm and moist places to grow. In fact, that is the reason why uh, you would not see fungi growing on a bread if you keep it inside the refrigerator. Because inside the refrigerator, it's very cold. So that temperature doesn't favor the growth of fungi. But if you keep it outside, the temperature is warm. There is presence of moisture in the atmosphere. So it is like a suitable place for fungi to grow. Found in air, water, soil, animals, plants. So they are actually found in a lot of places. Now when we talk about, here we are going to mainly talk about the nutrition of fungi. Now these fungi, they can be sap saprotrophic. Some of them are saprotrophic while some other fungi are parasitic also. So some of them are saprotrophic which we are going to discuss in detail right now. However, some of them can also be parasitic. How parasitic? Now some fungi can actually live inside the body of another plant or animal and cause diseases in them. 
So you would have seen that in human beings also there are a lot of fungal diseases, especially skin infections in human beings are very common. So what is that? That is nothing but fungi living in the body of human beings and causing harm to human beings and it is getting its nutrition from the human body. So that way fungi are parasitic also. So some fungi are parasitic, some fungi are saprotrophic. They are immobile, they cannot move from one place to another like other animals. So now we will talk about the nutrition. So as I said, they have heterotrophic nutrition, they depend on others for their food. Some of them are saprophytes, that is they feed on dead and decomposed matter. The examples which I mentioned before, for example the mold on the orange or the fungi which develops on the bread, mushrooms, so these are all saprophytes, they have a saprophytic mode of nutrition. However, some of them can be parasitic as well, that is they might depend on other living plants or animals and can even cause disease in them. So some examples are given on this picture, so here you see this uh, animal is suffering from a fungal disease. Similarly in this case in the plant they, it has dis, uh, developed a fungal disease. So it is capable of uh, causing diseases in plants and animals and how it causes diseases by living inside the body of that plant or animal. Some fungi also exist in symbiotic relationship with other organisms. Now this is again a new term for you. Now, this is symbiotic relationship. It is a special type of relationship where a fungi lives inside the body of another organism. The fungi will derive some benefit from that organism and the organism will also derive some benefit from the fungi. So it is like a mutual benefit relationship. So this is a mutual benefit relationship and symbiosis is a very common type of relationship which is seen in case of fungi. So let us thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.